What is up everyone, my name is Ali A and this is the zombie series that you guys asked for. It is indeed uh, Deriza or Deriza, um, pistol and knife only. Uh, on the menu here, just taking a look at the ones that, I, or the maps that I've already done the pistol and knife series on. Unfortunately, really unfortunately, this isn't live and I'll explain why it's not live. Uh, it, well, it was done live. Everything you can see here was done live, um, but I'll talk about that and explain that. So uh, I've done Kino de Totem before. Um, if you guys would like to see my playthrough of that, I got to a really high high level on Kino de Totem actually. Um, so that's a really good watch if you haven't seen my Pistol and Knife only series on that. Uh, I've done Call of the Dead. That was also a really good series. Uh, I think you'd really enjoy that. Uh, I did Shangri La, but I did that with a friend because it's so hard because you get the um, screaming zombies and everything coming out uh, and appearing and it's so hard when like because they appear on round three and four trying to kill them off is, is so difficult um, and hopefully I'll do five and moon I'll do some sort of variation on those uh, before Modern Warfare 3 comes out and um, I've got half term of course uh, the week or two weeks before Modern Warfare 3 so I'll have I'll have time to play through and do more zombie series because it takes like loads of hours to sort of sit here and prepare and do this properly so let me explain what's happening all of this was done live I was talking to you guys as this was done um, I had all this com commentary um, sorted out and everything um, and then I got to a certain point. I won't say what part it is because you know you want to you want to um, be intrigued when you watch this and you know not not know what's going to happen exactly. But um, I'm going to commentate this as if it's kind of live and talk loads about the gameplay and stuff. Um, but it was done live, and um, I got to a point on my computer, my brand new computer, which is really really good, cost me about. Uh, well, it was an expensive computer. It's one of the highest end range c computers you get, but it was overclocked, which means um, the processor was sort of um, uh, overclocked. That's the only way I can describe it. So that it's really, really fast, and it's bummy. It's even better than the stock computer that it came as. Um, and I was recording, and suddenly I looked off to my right, and the computer screen had just got died. The whole thing had just cut out. And I think what happened was, you know, you get those automatic window updates. I think um, I hadn't noticed it in the corner of my screen. And it came up, and um, the whole of my computer basically just restarted. And I was like, no, but luckily, because for some reason um, the video recording software I use is awesome, um, I managed to save the video software uh, video recording, so I've got it here in really nice quality, actually. I'm looking at it now. You guys may want to watch this in HD. Because I've got my new PC, I can now render videos pretty quickly as well. So all of the videos you watch, even 10-minute long videos, um, will be rendered in really nice quality. So I definitely recommend watching it in a stretched out HD mode. That would be really, really cool. Um, so all of this do was done live. Um, and I'm basically just going to talk as and try and remember what I said and uh, make it as interactive as possible. So um, this map here is tough. And the, 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 the thing about my series, the Pistol and Knife Only series, is that the hardest part is by far not being lazy in these beginning rounds here. And uh, you've got you've to gotta be going in with your first knife kill and holding back on the analog stick. So you, you're dragged into the knife and then your, your, your character is pulled back again instantly. And if you get swiped, you do not go in for another knife kill because if you get swiped twice, boom, you're down instantly and that's not cool at all. Um, so we go in here and making sure that, you know, round one and two easy, round three a little bit harder, you know, the zombies can't sprint, so that's alright. Um, but then round four and five, uh, it's basically a rush to uh, get either the Juggernog or either the Barry Knife, because the Barry Knife is, of course, uh, the best uh, knife I can get, apart from the Barry Knife, with uh, the Ballistic Knife. Um, so that was, was what I was going for um, there. That's that's sort of my, my beginning goal, but I need to get loads of points as well. And uh, the pistol is so little ammo um, that I was trying to conserve that as much as possible. Um, I also up my um, up to my sensitivity as well because um, normally I play on four and and I get insta kill here. It's so useless when you get insta kill at the begin end of the round that final zombie because um, in zombies you always get double points, max ammo. Um, the the door re re rebuilding one and um, insta kill. You get all four of them really early on, sort of like a booster, and it really helps, especially in solo play. Um, and the other thing I didn't have to fall back on was uh, quick revive, because that's actually near the power room or near one of the teleporters, which is basically on the other side of the map. So I I didn't have that to fall back on at all. Um, so this this was definitely tough. Um, so. so what I'm trying to do here, this is round three, this is sort of the last round where I'm going to try and hold back and um, luckily the doors aren't too expensive, uh, we can get through there with ease and um, trying to just hold back the zombies here as much as possible but 
Um, if there's any other zombie series you'd like to see me do over half term, because I have enough time then, um, you know, at the moment, uh, one thing I do want to touch on is like, I have so much college college work, and um, I'm being just like super nerd at the moment, and <laughs> but it, it's it's super nerd, but I really really do not care in the slightest, because um, it, it is the only way that I'm going to physically cope. Um, as a 17 year old with a YouTube channel and doing work is by coming home, doing all my work instantly, like all of it instantly as soon as it's set, um, even if it's not in for another two weeks, just getting it done and then I know I have nothing, no school work outstanding at all um, and I can just create videos if I need to create videos, see friends, whatever, and it basically just frees up everything. Uh, here's Juggernaut and I was like, no, I don't have enough points, and I was I was so certain that that was the final zombie, <laughs> and I turn around and there's actually all of these really slow, sort of Hitler-like zombies walking towards me, um, and you get 100 points for knifing them, um, so I just, uh, well, once you get the final knife in and you kill them, so I just kept on doing that. Um, and it got me a decent amount of points, it's really, really cool. Um, so yeah, basically school work, it's going to be so hard, I've got for normal A-level students, um, I, I th I'd say you'd have anywhere between one and maybe five or six exams in January. Um, I have ten exams in January, something ridiculous like that. And these are A2, this is the final year of education before I go to university, so these are not easy tests. Um, so especially over this, uh, the Christmas holidays, um, I'm going to have to try and like set up a really strict timetable to make sure I do lots of work. But um, if you guys want to do this as well, <laughs> leaving the sort of the boring schoolwork behind. It, this is really, really fun, and Dare is one of the best maps to do this pistol and knife only on. And if you're sort of inspired to do it yourself, definitely go ahead. And one thing I always get people saying on um, all of these episodes is um, the ray gun's a pistol, and technically it is a pistol, I, I agree, but I don't like it being a part of it. And in my version, and the uh, pistol knife series that I've created, I don't like using the um, ray gun. I think it just ruins the series, and I wouldn't recommend it at all if you're going to do it with your friends or do it by yourself. Um, it's actually really fun doing it with friends, getting two of you just to pistol and knife only is really good. Um, and the grenades here, I do use the grenades only because it's it's virtually, you know, I could have got it anyway, but it's just that little bit of help. Um, you know, the things I do include are traps, I do include grenades, but the core basis is just based on the guns and the knife uh, is the pistol, of course. Um, so that's basically what I'm doing there now. Uh, the way that the spawning system works with the zombies is the fact that the zombies will spawn within a given area. That's the main tip I can give for all of you zombie guys if you're, if you're not getting to as, as high rounds as you want to get to. Um, whatever area you're in at the beginning of the round, or whatever area you're in when zombies are spawning, is the area that they're going to be entering the map themselves. Um, and what I'm trying to get um, 3,000 for the barry knife, I think. And, and I, saw, I bought that back, and I was like, no. And then I almost get caught out here. This is close. Ah, run! <laughs> I just managed to get away. Um, but Modern Warfare 3 is so close. It's awesome. It's awesome. Really, really awesome. Um, and I'll talk about that more. I've got actually a lot of Modern Warfare 3 videos. I've been saving up them. I've uh, got the live Road to Modern Warfare 3 series, which you guys are showing insane support for. Um, I'll talk about that more um, in another episode of this series when it, it does cut back into live um, commentary at some point. I, when my computer restarts, I pause the Xbox. The Xbox is fine. Um, and then I go back and um, start from where I am and live commentate from that point onwards. Um, but uh, this part here is coming to an end, guys. Um, show your support for it. You guys asked for it. I, I've done it for you guys. It's, it was tough. Um, we have loads more episodes coming this week, and they'll be out a lot quicker than the Moon series. So thank you very, very much for watching. Hit the like and favorite button if you're enjoying this, and uh, a new episode will be out very, very shortly.